Oh my gosh, this is so weird and wrong and ah! Hey everyone, it's Deligracy here and welcome to Let's Play The Sims 4 Hampton Falls Part 7, I think it is. And I am still away, so these parts have been pre-recorded. Thank you guys for being patient whilst I'm away on holiday, but hopefully I've been able to respond to a lot of your comments and I am definitely keeping an eye on your ideas and where you want this Let's Play to go. I am absolutely enjoying every minute of recording it. Just as a reminder, if you do enjoy this video and you're enjoying this Let's Play, give it a big thumbs up and also make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications to be notified with every video upload. All right, let's get into it. So in the last part, we did move Joel out of home. He has just moved out of home for the first time into his own share house with another guy that he met through Crystal, whom Crystal just randomly met at the park one day, <laughs> which is a bit orkies, but you know, that's fine. Um, and we also met this random rich guy at the park one day. Joel was just kind of mysteriously talking to him. And now this guy is back at his house and his wife is extremely glamorous as well. So. You know, he's Dark definitely rubbing boy. shoulders with some Rufa. interesting, oh, 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 affluent people, but something tells me that Cream. this guy Bring is kind of up to no good Cream. and he's getting Cream. Joel to do some of his dirty work. So what he has left with Joel, which is in Joel's inventory right now, is actually nine cow plant berry seeds. So Joel is actually going to be growing the illegal cow plant, which... You can get its elixir from it to make Sims appear younger. So it is essentially in The Sims 4 an illegal drug I've made up that women like to use to age <laughs> themselves that? down. And um, the reason why it is illegal is because it does encourage um, murdering Sims because the cow plant has to eat Sims in order to produce this elixir. So it is pretty dodgy stuff, but I was thinking maybe Joel would just be growing the plants, not necessarily capturing anyone or like anything like that. So he's just growing and maintaining the plants for Bartleby. Um, and that is where Bartleby gets all of his wealth from. So it is an illegal business Jolie is getting into. It's very naughty. So let's get started and let's get him to plant some of these cowberry plants. And if you guys haven't seen the cow plant before, it is so cool. I love the cow plant. It's like one of my favorite things of The Sims 4. And it produces a cake when it's hungry. And if a Sim goes to eat that cake, then the cow plant will eat the Sim. And if the sim gets eaten twice, the sim will actually die and then you get an elixir from it. Now, I'm not really sure why some of these we cannot put the cow plants into, but it's okay. Um, I will delete them or just, oh no, it did go in there. Weird. How strange, how strange. Anyway, uh, also I thought we could experiment with cutting um, the cow plants or getting seeds from the cow plants to make more cow plants. So what are you doing, Jolie? Oh. I have a feeling I've put these too close together so he can't actually plant these things. Is that the problem? Okay, so the problem was that you can't use the planters. I probably should have known that, but I had forgotten. And so now we are able to plant our little cow plants. And how cute are they when they have those little cow horn things? So cute. Oh my gosh, I love them. We'll see if this one's got enough room to grow this way, but it's going to be like a sea of cow plants in here. It's going to look so cool when they're all grown up and ready to spit out their little cakes to kill Sims. Oh, okay, so it kind of moves to wherever it feels like it can fit. What a clever little cow plant. So we're starting off with six of them and we will need to take good care of them and feed them each day uh, so they remain happy or at least water them. Uh, so let's tend to the garden and water and just do that and soon we'll be laughing. Meanwhile, I wonder what his housemate thinks of this. I feel like his housemate wouldn't really care. His housemate's probably like, eh, you can do whatever you want. He's pretty chill. And he probably gets a cut of the money as well because maybe he owns a lot or something like that so he knows what's going on he's an adult as well so he's actually a little bit older than joel here which is interesting and he's also just invited crystal harris to come around maybe crystal was coming around anyway to come see the house and also these gates are going to be all locked up and joel's just gonna say to his family like oh um yeah you you guys can't come in here like it's it's confidential like you know, I've signed a contract and I can't actually show you guys what we're growing. And they'll be like, oh, that's weird, but okay. <laughs> anyway, Crystal should be here anytime. Oh, here she is. 
Uh, so let's brighten her day and let's maybe get Hayden to chat to Crystal. I feel like Joel would not like the idea of Hayden and Crystal getting along. I feel like he would like beat up that guy if he laid a hand on Crystal. Like he's still a protective brother, but I think Crystal kind of like the fact that she's doing something naughty um, that is taboo. And I think young girls can easily be taken advantage of because, you know, a nice, beautiful guy hits on them and they're very flattered by that. So, uh, yeah, you know, these things can happen. Okay, bro lesson. What we might do is I might get Joel to go make something to eat over here. And these guys can just get along a little bit. I think, yeah, they can be romantic. So maybe, maybe he should be like, come over here, Crystal. Check out the beautiful view. Oh, Joel, no, buddy, 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 no, no, no. You go do your own thing. <laughs> you should be like, Crystal, you should get a cat. Okay, let's do a little bit of romancing right here. He's a bad influence on Crystal too. Oh my gosh, this is so weird. I've never had like an adult and a teen flirt. Oh, it feels so gross. Oh, Crystal's like running away. She probably called it that it's a bit weird. Oh no, she's coming back again. She changed her mind. Okay, so let's maybe get a little bit romantic. Oh, they're doing, they're doing like raps, that laps. They're doing the beep test, beep test, you guys. Why can't I talk? Where is Crystal? Is she actually running away from this guy? Like what is going on? Oh, she's going for a jog. It's so weird, the routing in this. Like they can't, they can't figure out where they're going. <laughs> Oh my lordy lord. Also, I was thinking that Mr. Otega could maybe like get a younger girl pregnant. I feel like that's something Mr. Otega would do. I don't know if you guys agree with that. Maybe I'm taking the let's play too far. This is kind of the most scandalous the let's play let's play we've done so far. <gasps> Ew, no! Oh my gosh, this is so weird. Okay, um, so Crystal's definitely liking the rush of kind of like of being a rebel, I guess. Um, and of course, she's very beautiful. So who knows? Maybe she lied to Hayden about her age. Maybe he does actually think she's older. And his housemate, like Joel, hasn't told him how old he, how old she is. Maybe we'll go with that storyline. Because I feel like it's too creepy that he would know. <laughs> anyway, okay, so these guys, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this is so weird and wrong and oh! <laughs> I mean, it would be different if she wasn't still in school, you know. Oh my gosh, how strange. So we're going to go with the storyline that he doesn't actually know her age. He thinks that she's like a similar age to her brother. Uh, invite to stay the night. Ask to be girlfriends. No, they're just hooking up in secrecy. And Crystal knows that her brother should not know what's going on right now. And not to mention, Crystal also has a thing going on uh, with... Oh, where are we? Uh, with the Lockwood dude. What? Oh my god, Colt. Colt. I forgot Colt's name for a second. So he's like, hot damn, Crystal. But he's probably too scared to tell Joel as well. Because Joel just moved in. So it's a little weird. It's a little strange. In other news, though, we do have Ellie here, who is of age. Uh, she is an adult. Actually, she's a little bit older than Joel. Oh, no, she's not. She's... Oh, my God. Ellie has a husband. Well, look, it's not like that's ever stopped us before. <laughs> so maybe Ellie can have a little thing with Jolie over here. Although I feel like Joel would definitely get with maybe... Mm, some of you guys said that maybe Morgan would get with Joel uh, as another way to try and get money. But right now she's pursuing Ooh. Mr. Lockwood, so I love saying that. Mr. Lockwood. Uh, so yeah, I don't know. Maybe he should just invite Ellie over. Okay, Crystal's like, I should get going now. Bye. She's not even going to say goodbye to her brother. He's like, oh, that's weird. But she knows that she's been bad. Lying about her age. Pick up an older guy. Tut, tut, tut. Oh, these guys are like just good friends, heartfelt compliment. Their relationship is actually really high. Like, really, really high. Oh, wow. I actually thought there was a cat in my room then. <laughs> uh, also, the cat really. Oh, I forgot to feed the cat. Whoopsies. Well, let's get you to fill this and fill cold butter cup to eat. And we might actually schedule a time for 12 hours. Whoa, what are you doing there? 
<laughs> okay, this LP just got a lot more uh, scandalous than I'd thought. Isn't she cute? Isn't she pretty? So these guys are just friends, but maybe friends are getting a little bit carried away now. Maybe they should go out on the town and after a couple of drinks or something, he actually ends up hitting on her. Oh, Ellie agrees. Maybe vegetarianism isn't as intimidating as she thought. Ellie might just grab a bite and see what it's all about. Oh, I thought she was vegetarian. And look at, look at her tattoos. Maybe Crystal was really influenced by Ellie when they met and she moved in the town. She's like, I want to be just like Ellie. There you go, little kitty cat. You eat up. You eat up. Uh, okay, well, maybe let's go to map and we'll go out and get like a celebratory drink for them just moving into the new home. I feel like that's something that they would definitely do. So uh, let's see. I mean, where would a bar be? I mean, it would be nice to go do a bar just around the corner, but we don't actually have... Oh yeah, we do. We have the Club Calico remodel. The remodel. Uh, so let's invite Ellie Dwight. Nah, I think he should just hang out with his own friends tonight. Um, Bartleby, of course. <laughs> Aiden Taylor can come. He's gonna have a night with the boys and Ellie. I think that sounds good. So they can have some drinks, have a little bit of fun, and maybe he gets a little bit carried away with Ellie after a few drinks. Oh, so many affairs. I love it. I know I focus a lot on relationships in my Sims 4 gameplay. I guess that's just how I like to play. I don't know about you guys, but I often get told that some of you guys don't like that. Okay, is there a mixologist here? Oh, cool. Cool, cool. Okay, well, let's all go here together straight to the bar. I absolutely love this remodel of this lot. I think it looks so good. What is that? Oh, what is that? That's, that would be Hayden. And uh, he doesn't know Max very well. I just love that we met these Sims in the park and they're different they to the usual bar. Sims and Anish, you guys created so them. So it just, it's just really nice. <laughs> Let's express our admiration to Ellie. He really likes Ellie actually. Ah. Ooh, Dima? Dima they're sitting combo. down together. <laughs> Maybe reveal a deep secret. Maybe they're getting a little bit flirty. <gasps> Ooh, and maybe if he had something with Morgan and Ellie, then Morgan got jealous. <gasps> she could kill off Ellie or something because she's crazy. That lady is crazy. He should show off his muscles a little bit too. Where is this mixologist? She's really cute though. I think one of you guys commented uh, on the first video that you guys made Ellie. So that is really nice to hear. So is the mixologist only upstairs? Oh, right, we've got to go to this bar. Okay, so order drink for group. I mean, let's just get some barley bales for little Max. I also feel like with Crystal always going out and growing up right, way too quickly, hanging out with her brother a lot, maybe he would also begin to see that, you know, maybe this isn't okay. Maybe I need to be a better role model for her as he grows up a little bit. Especially when he finds out that she got with his housemate and lied to him about her age. I think he'll be really disappointed. Who have we got here? Hello, Miss Norma. Got Norma over here. We've got Robbie Chan over here. What is with this soothing music? <laughs> New age music is very zen. It's a very zen place. Oh, look, they have little high chairs for toddlers who come to dine. This is such a nice place. I love this. I love this build. It kind of seems real to me. It's also kind of cool hanging out with the different age groups. Like these guys do seem so much older with what they're doing together compared to say Crystal's group who are like getting piercings and tattoos. And we're like, oh my God, these guys are like way more chill. Um, which I really like. Oh, excuse me, Max. Do not hit on our girl. Uh, I, I, I definitely feel like Joel has a little crush on Ellie. And I think uh, now that they have some drinks, maybe he should be like, chat here with Ellie. I want the whole group to come. Uh, I just want him and Ellie to hang out now. But I feel like everyone's gonna... Uh, yeah, everyone's gonna come over here, damn it. <laughs> but there's a nice big romantic fire pit. Oh, we're always out so late. He's gonna get tired soon, but I would like something to happen. Just a little, a little smoochy. Oh, this is such a beautiful place. You can go for the hug. Look at this, you guys. This is so nice. I want to go here in real life. Ooh, Max probably sees what's happening. Maybe, uh, 
Maybe Joel's got a little bit confident after having a couple of beers and has gone for the flirt. Oh, she did like that. And Max is like, dude, what are you doing? Look at his face. He's like, dude, she's married. Oh my gosh. So he, he won't do anything too quickly, but I think he'll just flirt a little bit. He'll lightly get a, a bit carried away. He probably wouldn't usually act like this around her, but he has a crush on her. I mean, who wouldn't? She's gorgeous, and she doesn't even try too hard. She's got, like, a nice big oversized jump run. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Did we just do that to Max? Hold on a second. I hope not. Oh, there's actually... They're good friends, but there's no actual romance. Okay, I'm going to disband the group uh, actions and then just talk to Ellie because I feel like we're accidentally flirting with everyone. Let's see if we can get a... Oh, no, he went too far. She did not like that. Okay, this is really awkward. This is not going well. I think we should bail. I think we should definitely bail home and he should be like... Sorry, Ellie, I just had one too many drinks and I'm sorry I was hitting on you. I didn't. I know you're married. I know you're happily married to your Zayden Dwight. Alrighty, so it is the next morning at the Davenport's Modern House and it is a Tuesday, so it is a school day, even though a lot of the kids seem to be wagging school or at least Crystal is. Anyway, I think their dad is doing some laps out here. He's doing his morning laps before he goes to work today. Is today a work day? Yeah, he's got work in two hours, so we might get him up and uh, we might actually get him to fulfill one of these requirements. He needs to research some stocks, so we might get him in here to use Destiny's computer. Uh, we'll get him to go to Korea. No, I always go to Korea. Like, do you guys do that as well? I, I just feel like when you're meant to do something for work, you go straight to the Korea option. Uh, so research stocks, there we go. So he can do that also. Oh, it looks like, okay. It looks like Noah's really, really hungry. And Chanel is hungry. Chanel the cat, you have a food bowl. Like, why don't you use it? Okay, quickly use the toilet. Quickly use the toilet and get something to eat. I'm not really sure why the butler never comes back. Uh, it's kind of annoying. So I guess we'll just have to have a quick meal. Have a quick meal, have some cereal, please. There we go. Uh, but he's feeling okay. How's his grades going? His grades are A, his brother's grades is B, so his brother's not doing quite as well. Ajax looks like he went for a morning swim and he's pretty tired too. He's got quite low energy. Uh, <laughs> look at the cats. Those cats just hanging around. They're hungry and they have a food bowl. <sighs> Hire a caterer, my goodness me. How about he just can go get a coffee uh, to go Let's get Americano. I don't know. I, I feel like that's what he would drink. Oh, cute. Having some cereal in the morning. Now, there has been a few developments with Noah since we last checked in on him. As we know, he is secretly gay. He really does want to explore a relationship with a guy. But he has been a little bit scared to come out and explore that. So he's been in a relationship with Bianca, who he loves as a friend, but clearly like there's not a whole lot going on there. And to kind of try and, I guess, test if he really does want to give up on girls, which clearly he should, like you can't force it. Um, he has been romancing Emmy a little bit on the side and Emmy is a new girl in town. So of course, Bianca doesn't know about that because he's been feeling a little bit lost with his sexuality. I think he thought, oh, maybe it's just Bianca he's not attracted to anymore. Uh, and he feels like life would be easier if he was just straight, but really he can live a really amazing, Ooh. awesome life and have fantastic relationships Aww. with guys, but he's yet to kind of be brave enough to just try it out. Oh my gosh. And I love that the mom destiny is like already on the punching bags in the morning. She is so good. Uh, oh, wow. The hot damn girl. She is like, she's so feisty. I love that she has a six pack as well. She's actually probably one of my favorite characters, even though we don't focus on her that much so far. Okay. Well, Ajax is drinking his coffee. He should be at school right now. So drink up mate. Oh, she loves her sons so much. She's so proud of both of them, even if Ajax isn't 
sporty like she is. She, of course, still loves him and is very proud of his programming. And that's why they, they bought him a massive, like, awesome computer setup and everything. So he can do absolutely everything he can in that field. Uh, okay, so Ajax is off to school. He didn't really get his energy up very high, but hey, that's all right. And it looks like Mr. Davenport is off to work. So we could either get Destiny to start writing another book or we could get her. Oh no. She's like, did I just do that? <laughs> when you shock yourself uh, after going to the toilet, good grief, Destiny. Well, I think actually what we might do is finish this part right here. And in the next part, we'll check on the cow plants that we've planted and we'll maybe focus on Crystal again because I keep going back to Crystal. I love Crystal. The next part will be the last part I film before I'm back. So make sure you comment what you want to happen now and in the next part. I hope you guys are having a lovely morning, afternoon or evening wherever you are in the world. And I can't wait to speak to you soon. Susu! So -so.